Okay, hello everyone. Uh, today we're looking at the top 10 weirdest dinosaurs. Um, uh, it's um, very weird dinosaurs you won't believe existed. Okay, so top 10 weirdest dinosaurs. Number 10, Namingia. Namingia was a small feathered plant-eating dinosaur. Um, it could have eaten meat. Uh, it looks like a peacock. Namingia is considered a dromaeosaur or raptor, and Namingia means uh, from the Namingian region of Mongolia, which is a place in Mongolia, city, uh, or state. Um, Namingia is a small dromaeosaur about the size of a velociraptor, another dromaeosaur that's very popular. Namingia is colorful like a peacock. Like I already mentioned, the Namingia also has long claws on each of its hands and feet. Namingia is also a pretty fast runner at around 60 kilometers per hour. Uh, yeah, that was Namingia for number 10. Number 9, Cryolophosaurus. Cryolophosaurus, meaning frozen crested lizard, um, has a crest. It lived in Antarctica, but Antarctica was pretty hot at that time, so it could live there. It lived during the early Jurassic period, approximately 200 to 205 to 200 million years ago. Cryolophosaurus is lived in Antarctica, and it's so strange. Its crest is so strange; it looks like a butterfly on its head, and uh, it's it. Uh, and it's got the nickname Elvisaurus, be named after Elvis Presley, the singer. Um, yeah, Elvis Presley, and he and his hairstyle is kind of like Cryolophosaurus's. Uh, now it, number eight. This one is really gonna surprise you. Are you ready for it? Three, two, one. Eight. Coronosaurus. No, not coronavirus, but. This dinosaur means crown lizard, such as corona means crown. And I'm not talking about the coronavirus here, which is a late outbreak from China. Uh, Coronasaurus was not named after the coronavirus. It is not a newly discovered dinosaur. It is a ceratopsian dinosaur. Coronasaurus is a... Coronasaurus is a small ceratopsian dinosaur reaching up to around 15 to 20 feet. The Coronasaurus is pretty small for Ceratopsian dinosaur, having around three horns, one on its nose, and two from its frill. It's kind of like Inesaurus. Um, Coronasaurus is also uh, Coronasaurus is also pretty large, a relative of Brachyceratops and many other Ceratopsians. It lived during the Late Cretaceous period. It was one of the last Ceratopsians to be discovered, but Still pretty an old dinosaur to be discovered. Uh, Coronasaurus also had a beak for stripping off plant material. And it also grazed on low-lying plants and had a height about 7 feet. Uh, now we're moving on to number 7, Styracosaurus. Styracosaurus, meaning spiky or spiked lizard, is, uh, has, is relative of Coronasaurus and Enosaurus and has around lots of horns on its frill like up here and stuff it also has one large nose horn bigger than triceratopsis uh styracosaurus was one of the most abnormal looking dinosaurs it still had to watch out for predators such as the t-rex and asplegosaurus uh styracosaurus also grazed on low-lying plants like coronasaurus the well, styracosaurus kind of reminds me of a rat for some reason Styracosaurus is an ornithischian or bird hip dinosaur, um, and the Styracosaurus uh, also looked pretty fierce, especially when it was in herds, when it could like send out a stampede or something. Uh, yes, that was Styracosaurus. Now we have number six, Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus was a relative of the Cryolophosaurus already mentioned in this list. The Dilophosaurus was um, a pretty large uh, Ceratosaurian or Abelisaurian dinosaur. The Dilophosaurus was in the same family as Cryolophosaurus and they're both closely related to the famous Allosaurus. The um, 
That love source means two crested lizard. Yeah, and because uh, it had two crests, like Cryolophosaurus. Uh, they're very close relatives. Dilophosaurus and Cryolophosaurus both grew to 20 feet long, both lived during the early Jurassic, and both had crests. And they didn't have the same height, though. Scientists estimate that Dilophosaurus was a little taller than Cryolophosaurus. Dilophosaurus was still a ferocious predator, but some scientists suggest it couldn't hunt and could only scavenge or eat fish. Some scientists claim that Dilophosaurus was piscivorous, meaning only fish eating. Dilophosaurus had a very weak bite at around 2100 newtons. Um, that was Dilophosaurus. Now I'm moving on to number five, Leolinosaura. Named after Leolin, the kid who discovered the uh, dino fossil, uh, Leolinosaura, meaning Leolin's lizard, is um, a, f a famous ornithischian dinosaur and that lived in Australia and Antarctica because they were connected together during that time, mostly around the Australian parts. Uh, Leolinosaura had big eyes, like as big as your modern day orange that you have to peel and eat. Uh, the Leolinosaura had black eyes and Leolinosaura could look for plants uh, and eat plants from rivers. The Leolinosaura also had uh, to had big eyes so it could uh, look at stuff like see stuff clearly during the dark winter nights. Like in that time, Australia and Antarctica had one month of complete darkness. Yeah, so that's Leolinosaura and um, now we have number four, Pelicanomimus. Pelicanomimus, meaning pelican mimic, uh, is a um, saurischian theropod that lived during the early Cretaceous period. The Pelicanomimus is a small ornithomimid dinosaur. I mean, small for an ornithomimid. It grew up to 6.5 to 8 feet long. The Pelicanomimus. Its strange feature is it had uh, like a pelican-like thing on the bottom of its jaw. It's because scientists discovered the bones in that place. The pelicanomimus, that was in the pelicanomimus a strange feature, kind of like a pelican when the pelican scoops up fish and stuff. Well, the pelicanomimus is still all carnivore and it eats fish. It doesn't eat any plants, unlike its relative gallimimus. Well, gallimimus can grow up to 30 to 13 to 20 feet long, but gallimimus only eats plants. Could have eaten some insects and stuff. Well, that was Pelican Mimus. Number three, Carnotaurus. Carnotaurus, meaning carnivorous or meat-eating bull, lived during the late Cretaceous period in what is now Argentina. Carnotaurus, uh, Taurus is a god of bulls and stuff, like, you know, with those two long curved horns. Yeah, and then um, they use it to ram one another for in search of ter territory of, or food. Um... Carnotaurus also used it for mating. Uh, Carnotaurus also had kind of like a like Taurus. Like Taurus is the Greek god for bull, and Taurus also means bull in Greek. So, Carnotaurus, meat eating bull. Carnotaurus had two um, very sharp horns on its head, but they weren't that sharp. Carnotaurus had a weak bite for its size, but still could hunt. It targeted young Lamaisaurus and Argen young Argentinosaurus. Carnotaurus couldn't have targeted Argentinosaurus because Argentinosaurus belonged to the Jaganotosaurus. The Jaganotosaurus means giant southern lizard. Okay, we're getting a little off topic here. Well, number two is Iguanodon. Iguanodon, as you probably know now, it's a very popular dinosaur, had a thumb spike. Um, mostly uses thumb spike uh, to like... Um, well, take out plants and stuff from, like, the ground and stuff. And then, yeah, Iguanodon means Iguana Tooth. Well, because um, Iguanodon has a thumb spike, and it's kind of like uh, an iguana's, but they thought that was... Um, there, he's our, he, here are two assume, assumptions from where the Iguanodon's thumb spike came from. The first one was inside the teeth like like literally one of the tooth like fangs 
dagger sharp and uh yeah it also iguanodon probably also um had um some some scientists such as uh um o oc marsh or Ed edward drinker cope um one of them su uh suggested that uh, I mean, sorry, Gideon Mantel, yeah, that guy. He suggested that the thumb spike was on the, like, nose. Well, that's not the case, Mr. Gideon. Anyway, Iguanodon is a plant eater, herbivore. So it could have, it, if it was hunted by other carnivores, such as T-Rex, the Iguanodon would use its thumb spike as a defense and to, like, uh, what do you call that, like, porch puncture the carnivore's throat and some stuff like that uh number one therizinosaurus therizinosaurus is a large theropod dinosaur part of the therizinosaur saurischia family the therizinosaurus was a giant car i mean herbivorous dinosaur it could have been omnivorous some some studies suggest that uh like my book over there, like, wait, let me show you my book. Right, it's right here. Uh, anyway, uh, so it's a, it suggests that Therizinosaurus is an omnivore, and Therizinosaurus could have been one, I'm not so sure. Therizinosaurus might have even had feathers. Therizinosaurus was a relative to Mithronychus and Bipiosaurus. The Therizinosaurus meaning scythe or sharp clawed lizard uh lived in mongolia so it could have met a velociraptor or a protoceratops the therizinosaurus lived around 95 to 65 million years ago during the late cretaceous period well therizinosaurus also is a pretty deadly dinosaur if you check on my other video top 10 most dangerous dinosaurs you will find therizinosaurus on the list well, it is a herbivore, or maybe it's an omnivore, but it still has dangerous claws. The Therizinosaurus is very slow moving, if you need to know. Uh, yes, that was today's video. Okay, uh, check out some other videos that we have. Um, and this is the top 10 weirdest dinosaurs video. Let's go over the dinosaurs we came across in this list. Uh, first we have Namingia, then Crylophosaurus, um... Then we have Coronosaurus, Styracosaurus, uh, then we have number six. Uh, number six is Dilophosaurus, and number five, Leolinosaurus, Pelicanomimus, Carnotaurus, Iguanodon, and Therizinosaurus. Okay, thanks everyone, and check out new videos. Goodbye.